Welcome, this is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 3, question number 51. Olivia buys three necklaces for $85 each and three pairs of earrings for $40 each. She receives the bill showing $255 plus $120. Olivia calculates the total cost of the jewelry by multiplying the sum, so that's important, multiplying the sum of 85 and 40 by 3. Which property did Olivia use to justify the two amounts used are the same? Well, in general, uh, these are really easy once you sort of write out what, they're, what they've done. They only want to know what she did, so I'm going to skip the rest of it for right now. She multiplied the sum, so that would be parentheses. Anytime you have like the two math words in a row, it often means, not every time, but most of the time it means it's going to be a parentheses question. So she multiplied the sum of 85 and 40, and sum is a math word, of course, that means plus, and 3. What does that look like? This is what the store did. It's distributive property. Very simple. Associative property is if you have all uh, the same thing in the front and the back, and they're, you're just changing the association. So if I have 4 plus 5 plus 3, this is equal to this. All I'm doing is changing which two are associated together, and they still give me the same answer. Commutative just means I flip the order around. Well, she didn't necessarily flip the order around. She still has um, 85 and 40 in front. She just multiplied them by 3 as opposed to adding them all together. And then addition property of equality is sort of what you would do if you're solving an equation, and that's really not what she's doing. She's just sort of doing... Uh, she's taking the three of them, and instead of adding it three times, she's just multiplying by three. So that's it. It's distributive property. A lot of these tend to be distributive property, but they're not always. So just be careful to write it out, and you should be fine.